The following program is a paid commercial program. Views expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of News Channel 11. Hello, come on in, let's cook together. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving and today we are going to be making some different dishes that will be just right for the Christmas holidays. Okay, today in my little bowl, I've got one egg and I'm gonna whisk it up just a little bit because we're gonna make some, uh, I don't wanna call them casseroles or quiches, so we'll just call it a pie. So I've got my egg whisk and I'm gonna put my hash browns, which there is two cups of hash browns and that's been seasoned with a little salt and a little pepper. Now I'm gonna get my little spatula and we're gonna mix this up. Now once this is mixed well, it's going to go into our baking dish that I have already uh, oiled. And so I'll put that in there. And uh, I'm going to pat it down just a little bit. And it's going to go into an oven of 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And so it's just really just need to get it a little golden brown the edges. These recipes that uh, I have been preparing are great for vegetarians, uh, if you're a vegan, or just mix and match. And I'll show you just in a minute what kind of meat that I'm using for mine. Okay, now we'll just pretend that I've got that in going into the oven. All right, in my saucepan that I have oiled a little bit, I'm taking a cup and a half of fresh zucchini. Now you could use any other kind of vegetable that you would like. It could be squash, it could be just anything. All right, I'm also putting one uh, green bell pepper and a half of red diced bell pepper. That's going into our skillet. All these ingredients are going to saute for about 15 minutes. So by the time that this comes out, this should be ready to go into this. Now, I'm going to add my salt and my pepper. And today I'm using beef brisket for mine instead of ham or bacon. But you don't even have to use meat if you don't want to. All right. What you will do, you will mix this up. And once it is cooled a little bit, then we're gonna add two eggs. So I'm gonna scramble these just a tad bit. That will go in there. Then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of milk. That's going to go in here also. And then also I'm gonna add one cup of shredded cheese. Now I have cheddar, but you could use smoked cheddar, you could use pepper jack, just anything that you would like. So there's no rule to this dish. So this would all be mixed up together, and then it's gonna go into our uh, casserole dish here. And look at the pretty colors, it is just gorgeous. And even when it's sauteed, it is really colorful. So this will go in here, it will go back into that 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes or till golden brown. The main thing with that is, is so that your eggs uh, are all cooked now. This is what it would look like, so it would go into our oven. Now, I have a finished product. So this is what it would look like when it comes out of the oven. And if you see behind me, I have all kinds of other wonderful dishes. And like I said, I had mentioned a vegan or a vegetarian. This is to give you good ideas for your Christmas holidays. These uh, travel well. They freeze well, even though I don't care much about freezing foods, but you could freeze it a day or two ahead and then take it out to take wherever you want. Once it's hot, it will hold its temperature. And you can mix or match anything that you would like to put with that. Also back here in the background, if you can see, I even glazed a small pork tenderloin and put some teriyaki and some homemade little uh, tea biscuits that would go well with that. I have hundreds and hundreds of great ideas that if you would like to call and talk to me about that I would love to fix for your Christmas meals. It could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, mid-afternoon, it doesn't matter. Those things, nothing has to be set in stone when it comes to making your Christmas meals. Well, I do believe that train is sitting out there on the railroad track, but before I do go, I do want to wish everyone from all of us to all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and may God bless you.